Namaste. From this lesson, we are starting to learn the Vini Yoga or uses of joint hand or Samyutta Hasta Mudras, which is joint hand gestures. In Samyutta Hasta or the joint hand mudras, the uses are very minimal. So the shlokas, what you have to learn, is very small. So in each lesson, I will try to do more than one and hopefully two or three, depending on the length of the shloka. And I will go through the Sanskrit shloka and explain the meaning in English. Let's look at Anjali Mudra or Anjali Hasta which is held with both Patakas coming together to form a Namaste here. So this is Anjali. Let's look at the Shloka which is Devata Guru Vipranam Namaskareshu Anukramat Karya Shiro Mukho Rastu Vini Yoga Anjalir Bhudai. Coming to the word meaning, Anjali Hasta, when held above your head, it is praying to the gods and the goddesses. You bring it against your forehead or in front of your nose, and that is to the teachers, gurus, and then you bring it to the chest, it is for the learned or all of the others so gods guru or the teacher and the learned these are the uses of anjali hasta let us look at the kapota mudra which is just cupped palms coming together to form kapota mudra shloka is Pranami Guru Sambhashe Vinayangi Kriteshwayam. Just three words, one line shloka, meaning is Pranami is respectful salutation. So, this with a bend is paying respect. Then, Guru Sambhashe is conversation with your Guru. So you just bend and accept. And then the third one is a similar action which is accepting or approving and taking anything gracefully is like bending like this. So three words and they're all similar. Salutation, talking to your guru and then accepting it gracefully. Those are the uses of Kapota Mudra.